Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working with the Glassing Bag Printable Mini Album that's available in my Etsy shop. And this is the album that we're currently creating. This is the Midnight Garden Paper Collection. Let me show you. It looks like this. It's by Prima. This entire mini album has been filmed step by step, page by page, cover the whole nine yards. Um, and I will put a link, a clickable link, right here. If you, it's it's called the Midnight Garden Glassing Bag Mini Album. So it is a playlist specifically for just this album. So in the last video, we did this page back here with the vellum pocket and the little um, insert here. So that was the last video. And in this video, we are going to make uh, a couple inserts. So I'm going to do the same envelope done two ways. So we're going to make an insert for this cute pocket here and this pocket here on the back side. So again, the same envelope done two ways is what we're going to do. So as usual, there will be links down below to everything, links to my Etsy shop, to the Glassing Bag Printable Mini Album template. There will be links to the Amazon page where I have a list just for the Midnight Garden. So everything that I use is in there the best I can or the equivalent of. And there'll be links to the uh, YouTube playlist or any video or anything that I mention will be down in the description box below or the show more section or if you're on a phone, it's a teeny little arrow underneath or right above the title or right there somewhere. It's a teeny little arrow that you have to hit for the um, menu, the menu, <laughs> for the description box to uh, open up. So, so alrighty, so I have, there's also a, um, a video on how I made my workbook here. I can put a clickable link here and in the description box, but it's in the playlist for the album as well. So I did page number 17. That is this page right here. This is an envelope and I'm going to do it two ways. So I've already printed it off twice. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. So the first one I printed off, I just printed it off onto, this is like 32 pound um, printer paper. It's a little bit thicker than regular copy paper, but I printed the coffee stained um, background onto one side and on the other I printed the shades of color and this is what the Etsy listing looks like. This is available in my Etsy shop. Um, I printed shade number 22 or color number 22. They have numbers on them. so. You can tell what you're printing. So I printed that on the back side. So there's one that I printed out. And then the other, this is just a piece of the pattern paper from the collection. Uh, this was my favorite one. And so this is the third sheet of this that I've cut, got out of the collection. So I, I was looking through them all and I just, I liked this one the best. <laughs> so I printed the plain on the back side. So this doesn't really have a direction. So I don't feel the need to show you how I cut this down. But so let's do let's do just this let's do this one first so i'm going to set this one aside i'm going to get my paper trimmer out all right so the first thing i'm going to do i think is i'm going to cut these tickets down or off of this page And I'm going to put that in my stuff that I can use at a later date. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim this out all the way around, leaving all of the tabs on. So I'm going to get my scissors out. Okay, so now it's trimmed out and I'm going to go ahead and get my scoreboard out. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard and I'm going to grab a stylus. And, whoops, wrong one. And I'm going to use the bigger side just because, uh, the bigger ball, just because this is paper and I don't want to rip through it. I, I tend to be really heavy handed when it comes to these things. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like I have to push so hard. Okay. And then this tab over here. Okay. So what I'm thinking for this one, I'm thinking that I'm going to put it in here. So that being said, I want this side facing out. 
So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and prep all those score marks going the opposite direction. So I think that it'll look nice up against that really dark mat that we have there. I'm going to burnish with my Teflon bone folder. And oops, I got something all over my space here. So, right? Don't you think that'd be cute? Oh, oh, will it fit? I wouldn't, I didn't even think. I didn't even think. Yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> I was like, oh no! I didn't even check to make sure it would fit. Well, of course it's gonna fit. Okay, so before I put this together, I'm gonna take my Ranger Archival Ink in coffee, and I want to, at the very least, before I put it together, ink this edge. Because it's harder to get to once you've got it all put together. And then I'm just gonna grab some glue. This is art glitter glue. Nothing fancy. Use whatever you have. If you have tape, use tape. And I'm going to put it on these tabs and we're going to go ahead and close it up. I thought about not printing the glassine bag on the back side. I don't know. You don't have to if you think that's too much of a waste of ink. You don't have to. You can just use your ink and give it a little bit of color or you can mat it with the mats that are in the template. So I think I'm going to go ahead now and ink all of my edges front and back and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got that inked up and I think I'm going to mat the flap here and then uh, we're going to make an insert. So let me grab let me grab the mat for the envelope, I'm just gonna mat, I think, the this part here, right? So I'm gonna trace that out. And then the insert for this is on page 19, and that's this right here. So I'm just gonna grab that whole thing. So I've got my base traceable template, and then I've got the mat for that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna mat it or not, but I wanna go ahead and grab it, just in case. So I've got my four by six journaling card. So I think I want to use this page here to mat this little flap right here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna literally just lay this on here and trace it out, cut it out, ink it up, and that's it. And attach it. <laughs> now I'm gonna trace it out, cut it out, ink it up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got that. Trace that inked up, ready to go. Let's just go ahead and attach it real quick. Whoops. Got a little, I didn't cut it very good. I didn't cut the envelope very good, but that's okay. That's okay, no big deal. And you know what I am gonna do? I am gonna put a whole reinforcement, I think, on here. I may not put a string or anything, but I think I will do a whole reinforcement. Should I do the lighter color? Yeah. Let's just go ahead, I don't know. I'm really bad about getting it in the center, but we're gonna try. regular office hoe punch. These are just regular white, you know, Avery um, hoe reinforcements that a color. And then on the back side here, I guess we could just do the same color. What the heck? I'm just going to put one on the back. Again, I could, if I wanted to, I could put a string there, but I think I'm just going to leave it just like that for now. Maybe. <laughs> for right this minute, that's what we're doing. Okay, so for an insert, I think what I want to do is I'm just going to take one of the journaling cards that I like and trace it out and just use that as an insert. Let's see. I 
like this one. I like the, I don't know, let's see. Will I be able to get a little bit of, yeah. I like this one here. So I'm gonna lay this on here and then trace it out, cut it out, ink it up. Oh, I'm trying to get as much of the pretty florals as I can. And then I'll be back. All right, so now I've got it cut out, inked up on both sides, and it's just simply an insert that goes inside the envelope. So that's one way to do the envelope. And then I was thinking of another way um, that I want to do. So there's one insert. So back here, I want to do something just a little different. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I look apart. So this is what I printed off, right? It's on the pattern paper. So this is the second way. What do we got here? Um, again, first I'm going to go ahead and trim these little tickets away from the big page just because it's easier to do it with a bigger page and put those aside. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to cut both of these tabs off. So, cut that tab off, and I'm going to cut this tab off, cut this piece off here, All right, I'm going to stick that in my, my box, I might save those, we'll see. And then the rest I'm going to cut out by hand. So um, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut this completely out. I'm going to leave these three together. I'm going to score it and I'm going to ink it up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got it all inked up on both sides and folded ready to go. So I thought too I would use that same piece that I did for the other envelope and mat this little flap right here. So again, I'm going to lay this on here and Trace it out, cut it out, ink it up, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it down. All right, so I've got it all attached. I did the same light hole reinforcement as I did on the other one. So I did it on the front and the back. So this is what we've got now. So now what I want to do is I kind of want to make it into a booklet. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, I've got some, hang on, let me grab. Got some coffee stains, just like regular, um, uh, it's not ledger, it's uh, like a school page. Uh, can you, I don't know, can you see? Uh, loose leaf paper, it's got lines in it, but when you coffee stain, well this one might, you might be able to see this better. It kind of fades just a little. So I was thinking about using these and we're gonna make some pages. So I think, I think what I'm going to do, let me double check, yeah, I'm going to just lay this on here, kind of like, kind of like this, right? So I got two sheets, oh, I didn't, they're not very straight, there we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half, I think. And notice that I didn't go all the way over to the edge. I was going to cut the holes off. So cut it in half. And now I'm going to lay them inside each other. Move that back out of the way. And I'm going to take the insert, the traceable template insert. And I'm going to lay it on here. Ooh, perfect. Dang near perfect. Okay, so I'm going to trace around the outside here and across the top and around that curved edge. I'm not going to go down the side that's barely, 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 barely uh, bigger. The papers are barely bigger than that, so I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm going to get my paper trimmer back out and, oh. 
I don't guess I traced them perfectly. That's okay. Or cut it perfectly in half. So now I'm going to just lay this in here. And I'm going to trim it down. All in one fell swoop. And then I'm going to take up uh, some scissors and cut my corners. Just rounding them off, really. Just all at the same time so they look even. Like that. Right? So now we've got these pages. Where's my envelope? There it is. There it is. So I'm going to stick these in here like that. And I'm going to paper clip them here in just a sec. Get some paper clips. And we'll poke holes and we're going to sew it together really quick. You could use a sewing machine if you wanted to. I'm not going to. We're just going to sew uh, with just a regular needle. So I'm going to get something I can poke into. This is just a two quarter of an inch foam, fun foam pieces glued together. And then I'm going to poke a couple, I'm going to poke a hole in the center. I know you guys have seen me do this a lot. So uh, some of you might be like, okay, woo. <laughs> I'm going to poke a hole up here and I'm going to poke a hole down here. So that's three, three holes, three hole binding, just like that. I um, also wanted to say, I'll have a link down below if you want to buy some coffee stain paper, not from me, but from, there's a lot of great sellers on Etsy who sell coffee stained or tea stained paper. If you want to check that out, if you don't want to take the time to do it, it is very time consuming and I love it. I adore the look of it. So to me, it's worth it. Um, but not all would, you know, maybe not all people agree. All right, let's see. I wanted to try to, this is crochet thread, but I wanted to, to try to use some of this cording that I've been using. I'm just going to grab a piece of it. This, I am almost, this was left over from a Maticon. I don't even remember. It might have been the first one. I don't even know, but I had taken extras and cut a bunch of, <laughs> cut a bunch. You know what? I might not even have to use a needle. Let's see, do I want to come in from this? I bet you I'm going to have to put it on a needle. I'm not going to have patience. So this is just a really giant needle. No big deal. And if I can get this in there, we'll be good to go. Right, I think I am going to start on the outside. Come in, in the center, hold it. I'm going to just pick a hole, whether it's top or bottom. Come back through, come back to the outside, I'm gonna go all the way down, come back into the middle, like that, and then I'm gonna go back through the middle hole. And I'm gonna put one of these strings on one side of that center thread and one on the other. All right. There. And I'm gonna try my best not to tear this stuff is stiff. So I'm just going to tighten it up and then I'm going to tie a knot. I might not even need two. Might just be good just like that. Now I better go ahead and do one more. Okay, and then I'm going to trim it. I'm not even going to be careful of how, you know, how much I leave on there. I'm just going to leave it, I think, for right now. So then I'm going to close her up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it might look a little weird if I leave too much of it on there. All right, it looks like that. I might have to trim some of that off. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just trim some of it. It just kind of looks a little strange. Okay, so I've got that. So now I'm wondering, I'm thinking I can just use a paper clip to keep it closed, 
But I'm wondering about using um, or putting some of that same cording in there. Oh, this is thick, right? So I have in the cording right there. I wonder, I guess we could try. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. I just think it's cute to have a little journal, a little booklet that you can use to document whatever event you're documenting. I just think it's a really good idea to have little booklets in your mini albums. Okay, now that one might be hard to get in and out because of the thickness of it and the magnet still, does the magnet still work? Oh, I don't know if it does or not. It's so thick right there. I think it does. So we're good to go. Oh, now, now it makes me want to add the twine to this too. So let's just go ahead and do it. The cording, not twine. I keep calling I guess it is kind of a twine. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And should I put a paper clip on this one too? Just to keep it closed but you know I guess it doesn't really matter we can leave it in there just in case just in case I want it so yeah so there we have it the same envelope done two ways yeah so what do you guys think which one do you like better yeah, let me know which one you like better. I like them both. I can't decide, so I do like having a place to write. I'm exactly, you know, to document, to have plenty of space. And this is really thin. It didn't take up a whole lot of room. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna burnish it just a little, just to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Okay, you guys. Well, that's all I got for you. So be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Do, do leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, I like them both. I think they're both fantastic little inserts. They, they look similar and they're the same template, just done two different ways. Um, and be sure to, did I already say give me a thumbs up? <laughs> be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And there should be some other videos here on the screen that you might enjoy watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.